Developing news out of Washington. Just two weeks after surviving an attempt to expel him from Congress, Republican George Santos says he will not seek re-election. His announcement following the release of the House Ethics Committee's report. The panel says it found substantial evidence that he violated federal criminal laws. The findings were part of the committee's highly anticipated report, which says his conduct warrants public condemnation and has brought severe discredit to the House of Representatives. Congressional correspondent Nathaniel Reed joins us now from Washington with more on this big story. Nate, tell us more about the report. Yeah, this is a scathing report from the House Ethics Committee. They don't formally recommend that he gets removed from Congress in this instant, but at the same time, send, uh, uh, George Santos effectively saying he's not running for re-election anymore anyway. In a statement posted to X, the site formerly known as Twitter, he said, quote, I will continue my mission to serve my constituents up until I'm allowed. I will, however, not be seeking re-election for a second term in 2024, as my family deserves better than to be under the gun from the press all the time. Now, this was a scathing report from the, uh, the uh, House Ethics Committee. Some of the findings, some of the things that they found included the fact that Representative Santos had sought to fraudulently exploit every aspect of his House candidacy for his own personal financial profit. They also claim he blatantly stole from his campaign and deceived donors into providing what they thought were contributions to his campaign, but were in fact payments for his own personal benefit. Now, Jay, one of the most interesting things here, the money that he used, these campaign contributions, he spent it on everything from luxury meals at Peter Luger State House in New York to Botox to paying for OnlyFans subscriptions uh, and even expensive luxury clothing. Those were all things he spent money on. Now, despite all of this somewhat blatant uh, subversion of uh, electoral, uh, excuse me, electoral finance laws. Uh, the uh, House Ethics Committee concluding the following, quote, Representative Santos is entitled to due process in his criminal persecution and will have his day in court, and the House should take whatever action it deems appropriate in light of the investigative subcommittee's findings. Now, that does not specifically say that he should be booted from Congress. That being said, he is expected to face another expulsion resolution when he returns from the Thanksgiving recess. At this point, though he survived the last several expulsion resolutions, it's not clear he can survive this one. A number of Democrats and Republicans who previously voted against removing him from Congress, saying that he needed to be entitled due process in his ongoing cases uh, with the Justice Department are now saying that based on this ethics report, they feel that they have political cover to vote to expel him from Congress. It's not clear that Representative Santos is even going to make it to election 2024, let alone the next several weeks through the holidays. Jay? Nate Reed reporting in D.C. Thank you, Nate.